All right, it's Long Island Rap Radar. It's Rocky Braxton, your number one interviewer in Long Island. I'm here with DJ K Dev. Hey, what's poppin'? You already know who it is. It's your man's favorite DJ, DJ K Dev here, host of the Queen of the Trap podcast, and I'm so happy to be on your show today. Of course. Thank you for having me. Of course. I'm gonna get right into it. So, how did we start off with the name DJ K Dev? Where did that come from? So, DJ K Dev came from, I would say, seventh grade. Uh, thank you to Frank Russo and Mike Pond. Um, they kind of came up with the K-Dev part to it because um, in school we had, uh, my name is Carrie Devlin, so we had Carrie Devlin and Kevin DeVincentis. So um, they nicknamed me K-Dev and him K-Devo, so the K-Dev kind of just stuck for all these years, and then that's okay. when I decided to brand myself as DJ K-Dev. To differentiate you from, because you guys both had similar names. So. Yeah. Okay. So how'd you get into DJing? Like, how did that how did that happen? So, um, I grew up listening to DJ Spinatic, DJ Holiday, DJ Drama, Trapaholics. Like, I love everything about mixtapes. I was in fifth grade listening to like Jeezy and you know Ti, um, Gucci Man, and then um, I would say I grew up around DJs my whole life. Um, you know, uh, a, a lot of my friends are on. Um, the Wide DJ, I see um, that company, and then there's also the Jack Boys. They're um, they're a group of DJs on Long Island, a huge group. They run like Napper Tandies, they run uh, Patch Hog, they run all of that stuff. So um, the person who um, who started the YDJIC company, he bought me my first controller mm-hmm. uh, back in 2017. And then, um, you know, I had already been podcasting. So how I got into the podcasting and all of that, um, there's a little bit of a backstory to that part. Um, I was in college doing um, radiology school. I'm still currently in radiology school. I have a couple more classes. So hold on. So you're doing school, you're doing DJing. Oh, yeah. (laughs) There's a lot to this. So, um I, I was a nurse for six years, and then I while being a nurse, I decided I want to go back to school. So um, I started taking classes, and one of the classes that I had to take was um, a hip hop history class. Okay. So okay. it it was the I couldn't believe that they were offering hip hop history, but <laughs> I read like the syllabus to it, and I was like, oh, I'm so I taking take this, this class. I take this. So it wasn't even it was not only just learning about hip hop and stuff like that we had projects that we had to do so um my final project i had to make a mixtape but nice. also um one of my projects was oh, we yeah, had you don't mind me asking what was on the mixtape like who did you put on the mixtape so um i had help from a friend he helped me put it together um basically we had to discuss all the topics that we were talking about throughout um, the entire, you know, the whole class. So we were talking about, like, um, women's rights. We were talking about gang members. We were talking about a whole bunch of stuff. I put Queen Latifah on there. I put Outkast on there. I put um, Bobby Cruz. Shout out to uh, Blazing Cruz L.I. Blazing Cruz L.I. Um, because I went to high school with him. I've known him since kindergarten. He's a um, big artist on Long Island. Mm-hmm. I put him on there. I put Jim Jones, which I'll get into <laughs> because I also work for Vamp Life Records as well. Word? So okay. we'll get okay. into that too. I know he's having a show coming up soon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I also work for um, his artist, uh, Mark Handsome. He's out in Los Angeles. So nice. I work with him as well. But going back to the school thing, so we had to talk about hip hop in our community. And the only hip hop in our community I really knew about was the DJs I grew up around. So um, I met this kid, Vic, and he told me, you should go check out Amityville Music Hall. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, like I, I don't know what Amityville Music Hall is, but let me go check it out. So um, that was when the Future was having his earwax sessions on Tuesday nights and stuff like that. So that's where artists can come. They're not, I don't think he's currently doing them Tuesday nights right now, but the Future still has his um, earwax sessions. Like you could go on the Instagram and look that up. Okay. Um, the day that I went there, the first people I saw on stage, and they know this, was um, MMB. 
So um, MMB Valley, Rich Stars, um, Skills, Watts, James. Um, and I was just so blown away. I'm like, they sound like real New York. Like, they sound like Uncle Murder. <laughs> and then I saw, the, uh, who was the other guy? One Take Carter. One I met Carter. him. Okay. He was on that Netflix show. Um, what Netflix show? The one that Cardi B and T.I. were. Oh, he um, w- I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, but yeah. It starts with an R. I forgot. He, but was, he was on that show? Yeah, he was on that show. Did he go by the same name? Uh, yeah, One Take Carter. You could look it up. Go on I Netflix. Gotta, I, gotta I forgot it. what it's called. I forgot the name, but I think it's still there. Yeah. It was T.I., Chance, all them. Yep, and yeah. Cardi B. Mm-hmm. So I went, down, I went down to, like, go basically interview these people because, like, not for nothing, I didn't know we had artists on Long Island like that. I really didn't yeah, know. People don't know. The yeah. only person I knew was Bobby Cruz, and then there was um, uh, Dakota that I went to high school with and Rob Tortorella and uh, Primo SB. Like, those were, like, the only, like, Long Island rappers I knew about. So um, I interviewed MMB, and I was like, guys, you sound like Uncle Murder. And they're like, little do you know, like, we're signed to him. And I was like, no way. No way. So, um... So then I went, I kept going back, and then I had gotten invited to um, the strip club with Uncle Murder and MMB and stuff like that. And also, um, what was it? I got invited to um, Vizo Heart. Actually, I am the official DJ now for Ooh. Vizo Heart. That is my artist. So shout out to Vizo. But um, he had seen me at the earwax sessions and was like do you want to be in a music video and i was like okay Okay. so um he had no actually pause no before that before that happened um j6 official i was in his music video with vizo and vic and there was another kid too oh and um oh i forgot kai kai is also in that video too um So we did that, and then Vizo had asked me if I wanted to do a music video with him, and Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. So we went over to Audio Workstations, which was in Islandia at the time, and that's when I met Steve Stacks, and um, I started talking about the five elements of hip-hop, and they were just so blown away with what I was talking about from the Mm. hip-hop history class and the knowledge I have about music that they asked me if I wanted to start a podcast. So I was Ooh. like... And what's the name of the podcast? That we no longer have it, and I mm. don't know if this man is still running my accounts, but if you are, get off of them. Um, it so was called... So the kind hip- of a little bit of tension between you guys? It hasn't been for years, but um, the Hip Hop Buffet podcast, it was a Long Island-based podcast where um, we would bring down artists and we would interview them, and we were also... Um, reviewing artists that would send in to us and stuff like that. So it was me, um, A2, Steve Stacks, my manager, um, Matt. Shout out to Matt. Um, So we were doing that for a while. And then um, Corona hit, and I was just like, if we're not going to be in this, this was before we stopped doing the podcast, but, um, you know, we couldn't go to the studio and stuff like that during Corona. So I was like, I want to do my own podcast thing. Like, I, I, I love trap music. Like, I want to base something off of so what I music. love. Big yeah. on trap music. Yeah. What artists so, got you into trap music? Um, so, I mean, just like growing up on the mixtapes, like okay. listening to DJ Drama talk his DJ. shit, <laughs> DJ Holiday screaming on it. Like, <laughs> and what's so dope is like nowadays I have my own official drops by them. So, like, mm to see them what they were doing at my age mm-hmm. and now now they're you know grammy award winning people and yep. i'm where they were at then it's like it's a blessing it's blessing. such a blessing. a blessing but um yeah so as far as the queen of the trap like i like i said i grew up on trap music but um the reason behind queen of the trap and why i named it queen of the trap was because um, Two Chains is one of my all-time favorite artists. Why did I have a feeling you're gonna say that? All-time favorite artist. Is that like the guy that got you into trap music? Like, this is well, uh, him, Jeezy, and Gucci, Gucci Man. Yep. I would de- and Ti. I definitely T. I say. Okay. Um, I mean, I grew up on everybody. Kia Shine, mm-hmm. um, a little Flip, like li- Flip. like Flip. <laughs> all all these Slim Thug, like all okay. those people. 
Um, but so I always grew up on trap music, but everybody's like, you're a little white girl, like rapping all these things and not for nothing before I got into any of this stuff and even how I got noticed in this industry was I started a hashtag called Car Jams with Kerry and basically I'm in my car with my cell phone and I'm, I'm rapping all these lyrics and people are like, how do you remember all these lyrics to all these songs? And it's like, I have ADHD, so mm. I pick up on that stuff. So you knew how to like maneuver on social media at like a very young yeah. age. Yeah, I've been social media savvy uh, for years. And carry. That's dope. Okay. people would find it annoying, but that's honestly how I got here. Like just putting myself out you there, being annoying, yeah, you have to. tagging people in all this shit. But, um, but what made me develop Queen of the Trap uh, was based off of 2 chains, uh on June 16th, 2017, he dropped Pretty Girls Like Trap Music. Mm -hmm. So it was like the first time it was acceptable for females to like trap music and not for nothing, my birthday is June 16th. Wow. So it was kind of like it all fit together cool. and just I have to brand it like this. So um, and then it was actually funny because he announced the Pretty Girls Like Trap music tour that mm -hmm. day on my birthday. I bought meet and greet tickets to go see him on my sister's birthday, which so was September 6th. I met 2 Chains. I actually, um, uh, I, I know a lot of their, I've been pushing their labels music for so long, Schooly, um, World, mm -hmm. um, uh, there's Hot Locked In, and what's the other one? Oh, I'm having a brain fart. But, <laughs> I mean, like, I've been pushing these music, all these That's people's nice. music for years. So, as far as the podcasting, I started out with music review shows and stuff like that. But then it's just progressed as time went on. Like, not only do I interview, uh, not only do I play music, I also interview, I do exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews. I have a talk show that I'm running uh, with Think or Swim Studios. It's the talk show. Um, I kind of just named it like, um, what is it? Uh, people with it, people of the industry, like people talk show. Industry. Yeah, okay. talk show. And what can, what can we check that out if you want to check that uh, out? I'm on all platforms. Okay. I, you could literally Google me, DJK Dev, Queen of the Trap Podcast. Um, my Instagram's DJK Dev. Um, YouTube's DJ, everything's DJK Dev. Um, if you go on my Instagram, my link is in my bio. It'll connect you to all my outlets and stuff like that. Um, I'm on so I do a lot of stuff in this industry. I see because <laughs> not it's not only podcasts. It's not, not only yeah. podcasts. It's not only DJing. Like you do pretty much. Everything, yeah, you know? like I said. Um, I, so I also work with Being Mark Handsome. He's in out. He's out in Los Angeles, South Central. Um, that's Jim Jones' artist. I'm part of Vamp Life Records. I'm also on Heavy Hitter, DJ New Era's Fitted Cap Low Movement team. Oh, yeah? I'm the okay. only female representing on the team, let alone in New York in general. So you're pretty much carrying Long Island on your back. <laughs> I'm carrying Long Island on my back. So he's, ba he's based down in Alabama. We have another one, um, Dala. He's down in Alabama. We have DJ Javi, who's in Jersey. We have DJ Naeem, that's in Jersey. And then we have DJ Smooth K, who's in Atlanta. So okay. I'm the only female and the only one from New York. Um, I also do DJ Chase Radio, Monday through Friday, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. So you nice. you can find me, djchaseradio.com. <laughs> I also start iHeartRadio, week after Christmas for Jersey and Philly. Nice. Um, DJ F's... Uh, Rock the Bell, Sirius XM, uh, iHeartRadio. He is scouting me to be his co-host to do newscasting oh, you got this. on you got this. Tuesday nights in 2023. Um, what else do I have? I have so many things. Oh, Social Media House wants me to start running Social Media House Radio. So okay. if you guys were tuned into that like prior to, um, you know, they're not using the studio room right now, so. They were like, K-Dev, you're doing all this radio stuff. Do you want to take over the entire room and just start the getting artists down there and music reviews and, you know, actually DJing live and stuff? So um, I'm just waiting for Marky to set up a meeting with me, and I'm going to start doing that. Okay. Um, Ooh, yeah. One, the one thing I seen the other day, he's working with DJ Clue. How did that? Um, uh, uh, DJ yeah. Self. DJ Self. Oh, yes. Okay. 
So I actually, I've known DJ Self um, probably since Corona. Um, and I, I think that like we we started talking through Instagram, but he saw that I was such a big Jeezy fan. And he mm. was like, I have a ton of Jeezy. Like he was in the process of moving during Corona. So he was like, I have tons of Jeezy collectibles. If you want them, I'm like, yeah. I'll be right there. Like I literally, he gave, got, he gave, he gave, yeah, he gave me a whole, the what? whole box is a snowman box. You, you lying. Open it up, and you got five magazines in there. You got Gangsta Girls CDs. All you that. got, you have a, a snow globes. That's fine. You have like an Avion snowman, um, like little, just like a piece of plastic thing. That's fine. I've also seen him in concert eight times. Like I'm a huge, Gigi fan. huge Jeezy fan. I love Jeezy. Trap too. or die all day, you know. <laughs> so any yeah. any um work in the future between you and DJ Self and then going on in the future? Oh, we just um we just did Industry Mondays. Uh DJ Hot Rod had me hosting Industry Mondays um last week. So I might be doing a lot more with him with that stuff. We also had Mano down there. I met French Montana yeah, I know, I know over there um the other day. Um st- um what's his name? Pressure was there from Love and yeah, Hip Hop, and yeah. his wife was there. So I was just with them. Um, I was recently on TMC. If yeah. you did, yeah, if you didn't know, um, send me that link. <laughs> so yeah, I, it's also on my Instagram too. But um, T, I like I didn't reach out to them. I one day like saw that, I, and I don't check my Twitter messages like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I saw that I had a Twitter message, and nobody ever messages me on Twitter like that. So I checked it, and it was TMZ, and they were like, uh, "Do you ever think about doing TV or doing a segment with us?" Mm-hmm. And blah blah. I was like, "I gotta see if this is like the real deal." Yeah. So. I went and I like did my research. The blue check was there, the million followers on. I was like, shit, okay, like I'm down to do it. So um, I got set up the day to do it, and they gave me a list of topics to talk about. And um, uh, my topic was gonna be the takeoff shooting, but because um, so many people were reporting what happened with takeoff Mm -hmm. and all that stuff they didn't even have an episode that day but they contacted me back they're like we're gonna put you on a takeoff segment tomorrow so um be ready by 11 o'clock tomorrow so i did the zoom call okay i was on tmc so i'll send you the link for that but yeah it's on my instagram page you can go check it out on instagram okay and um um, if um let's say if like let's say love and hip-hop reached out to you like to help you extend your brand would you take or you feel like that's too messy Oh, I would absolutely yeah. do it. I would. Yeah. I, I'm you into that it, so, ratchet so stuff. So you would do like, the, the storyline when oh, they yeah. t- all that. Okay. So uh, not for nothing. Um, I don't know why it fell through and whatnot, but I was reached out to do a We TV show. Um, mm-hmm. it was was it like marriage boot camp one of them things. No, too? it was going to be called House Party, and it was supposed to be, um, Mr. Chicken and I. Um, it was supposed to be Cardi B's like engineer. It was supposed to be um, like two other people, and then um, I forgot. The, oh, the guy who was running it was House Party, but I don't remember why it didn't happen. It kind of just fell through. But that's something that I have been looking into. Is I would love to get into the TV and stuff like okay. that because I think your girl needs to be put on some TV shows, man. <laughs> So what happened? Why did that fall? Why did that not fall through? What happened with the Wii TV thing? I think that he had some like personal stuff going on, like mm. behind the scenes, and he was like, I, I think it was like waiting for him to get his money right, cause production and stuff like that, even to put out a trail. Like, if you go and watch, um, cause that was something that we had to do. We had to go watch the Love and Hip Hop, like, um. The people introducing themselves. So mm-hmm. the first time you ever saw Cardi B introducing herself on Love and Hip Hop, like we had to go study those things, and that's how we had to basically. That's what they wanted to set up for us to do, like a a trailer like that, introducing each one of us, what we have mm. going on. But, but production costs a lot, so I think that's what where it fell through. Okay. But. But like I said, I'm always down to do TV. I think I would be great for reality TV. Yeah? I do. So it's always like a dream of yours? Like, you're like, I always like, 
do like a reality TV show? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it was always a dream, but it's definitely something that like now that I'm really out here and in this industry, I would love to do it. Like if it if it was presented to itself. Okay. So yeah. So another question. Um, if Hot ninety seven or one one hundred five point one contact you to have your own like DJ hour, would you take it? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like, um, right now I'm gonna be starting out with the iHeartRadio stuff. See, you told and, me that, yeah. Um, as far as radio, I don't. I'm I'm not so much of a mic person. Like, I if you if you listen to any of my mixtapes, you rarely hear me talking on the mic. Why? You, why you, you also, I don't why know. Not? Even when I work the clubs, like I unless I have liquid courage in me, unless I'm drunk or something. Yeah. Like I'm very I don't know. Like microphone, I get very nervous. Talk. I don't know why. You should be look. You, you, but I shouldn't here. be because yeah, like I'm interviewing yeah. all these people. I don't know. But I think radio is just different. So it's something that I actually really have to start studying now because um, not for nothing, but shout out to DJ JSO, by the way, because he's the one who hooked me up with the um, the iHeartRadio stuff. Um, he told me, he was like, you're going to have to get on mic. Just like you hear Hot 97, just mm-hmm. like you hear DJ Clue, D- just like you hear DJ Self, like you have to do that now. So whether I like it or not, it's going to have to happen. But... I feel like if I progress more and, you know, Hot 97 and Power 105.1, like, reached out to me, I would love to. But, you know, you could reach out to me for an interview because I did ask DJ Self when he's going to get me on on there. I also just reached out to, um, shout out to DJ XXL. Um, he's on my Vamp Life Records team because mm-hmm. we have a team of me – and Tiny, who's my secondary manager, we okay. represent the East Coast part of Mark Handsome. Then you got the West Coast part of Mark Handsome, and then you got um, uh, th- there's just a whole bunch of people. But XXL um, told me how to get into contact with the uh, person Kelly from Sirius XM. Okay. So I reached out to her, and I was like, I would love to be interviewed, or I would love to, you know, spin or something. So I'm waiting for them to contact me back. My CEO has been on Sway in the morning and stuff like that. So Ooh. you never know. One day, I hope. I hope so. Like, so you got a lot going on. Yeah. Like, it looks like you have no time for, like, personal life. Is there any, like, no time for, uh, to, like, pursue no relationships, no time for no man? Um, all? right now, I'm about the money. Like, there I mean, we no. There we go. I mean, if, if the opportunity, like, presented itself, if I met somebody, you know, um, but K Dub gets her heart broken a lot because you men are uh-huh. you men are pieces of shit. No, <laughs> nothing. Not for nothing. Oh no, not God. all of you. Not all of you. But um, you know, I like I'm a one man kind of girl, and so I'm not. Said, so you said if you met somebody, but like, would you be willing to like put your? It'll you know, because like you're doing a lot right now. I don't think like you could really divide your time between that and having a career. I feel like we have to be on the same page of things like you have to understand what i do as a dj as a podcaster you know and you have to have your own goals and dreams too like but we can't we can't like have animosity because we're both getting paper like you know what i mean so um it just be really hard because we like we work in an industry like especially you know i'm in the strip club i work a dj strip club so um I do, sometimes I do lipsticks. I was doing secrets for a while. Secrets? Secrets is the one that's in the city? Yeah. Okay. So, not for nothing, I, re- I just found out that secrets used to be where lipsticks is. I never oh, knew that. And it okay. was also called, I think, Illusions or something. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Um, but now secrets is in uh, Queens. So, I was mm-hmm. doing secrets from um, January to May. And not for nothing, like, I- I'm a female DJ. I'm around all of these men, and well, we're around beautiful women all the time, half-naked beautiful <laughs> women all the time. So it's like, how do you have a relationship with somebody mm. and be able to do the same thing as what they're doing, you know what I That's mean? That's the hard part. So I feel like it, it, when the time presents itself, if I find somebody, it'll come. Okay. But they have to understand that, you know, we got a lot going on. That's true. Yeah. So um, let them know what's what you got coming up next. Like, what's the next for DJ K Dub? What's what's coming up next? Um, 
Well, I would really like to get tapped in with some more sponsorships and stuff like that. But like I said, I have um, the iHeartRadio stuff coming up, um, social media house radio. I make mixtapes. Um, I, oh, God, I have so many things coming up. Um, Mark Handsome. I don't know if I'm supposed to announce this, and I don't know if I'm going to get yelled at or not. But Mark Handsome is and uh, Jim Jones and Nicki Minaj are doing a huge Las Vegas show Ooh, when? coming, um, I think it's February. So I might be flying out to go do that. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from DJ New Era because he said that if it's, if it's in the right cards, um, Legends of the Streets tour is going back on tour. So that's Jeezy, Trina, 2 Chainz, all there. of that. You might, you might so DJing? he might be DJing, so I want to go network and I want to, you know, get behind the scenes footage and stuff like that because I do videography on the side too. Um, but, you know, he, he DJ like he DJs with Jeezy, he DJs with all these people. So, um, you know, I'd like to go and experience that with him. Definitely going back down to Casanova's in Alabama is the thing for me, too. I'd love to go back and DJ down there. Um, getting into a lot more of these places in the city, like, um, I, I've done a couple of clubs, but, like, there's clubs out there that I haven't done, so mm -hmm. maybe some more New York City stuff. Um, what else do I have? I have so many things going on. <laughs> Like uh, DJ Epps, um, I don't know. I just hopefully progressing more and seeing more money because nothing's free. Um, you know, I've I've done a lot for free for so long for so many people, and I I don't mind helping people. I'm the type of person that it doesn't always have to be a money exchange. Like you know, networking and helping each other, or if I do something for you, you could probably do something for me in return. Like, I work with people like that, too, but we still have bills to be you, paid. You definitely do. So, um, I'm definitely going to be on people's asses about that a lot more this year, <laughs> most definitely. But, um, yeah, just stay tuned, because I have a lot of shit coming up, man. Okay. Yeah. So... I'm going to conclude this right here. Thank um, you for having of me course. today. I appreciate you, of and course, I look forward so. to working with you guys more. Definitely. Yo. And we got to get you on the Queen of the Trap podcast you know, next. I'll, whenever you guys want me to come, I'll, I'll yes. pull up. Uh, let them know where to find you. Let them know your Instagram. All right. DJ K-Dev, Queen of the Trap podcast, um, Fitted Cat Blow Movement, T-Mark Handsome, Van Life Records. Literally, you could Google me. I DJ K-Dev, Queen of the Just type in my name on Google. Everything will pop up. I have audio files. I have DJ stuff. So DJ K Dove, Queen of the Trap podcast, and I thank you guys for having me on the show today. All right, that's Long Island Rap Radio. Long I'm your Island. host, Rocky Braxton. Big it was Long a pleasure Island. having DJ K Dove on the show. Period. <laughs> <laughs>